Hi everybody, this is Mr. Eve Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Uh, uh, wait, I mean, I'm uh, Laura Croft, yes. Zombie Cat? What the heck? I don't know who that is, I don't know what I'm talking about. You're insane. Yeah, a little bit. I almost said you're insane. You're not British, I am. I am. Or English, or I don't even know what I am. One of my tubes is missing. What? One of my armband tubes is missing. There it is. It fell on the floor. It's missing. Um, let me... There we go. You need to get a grip on yourself. I got a grip on myself all the time. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Sometimes stuff happens if you grip it too much. But, anyway. Why are you wearing a wrestling belt? Well, because I'm the champion. I don't believe moment. you. <laughs> yeah, I am. And I'm pretty sure I could beat you up. No, you couldn't. You'd probably just do flips. Yeah, I'd flip kick you in your fucking head. That's bad language. Uh, so? So, calm down. I don't want to. Okay, so this is a review of three figures that were sent to me by Solid Snake after he took over Solid Day Snake's channel and threatened Shithead Jackson. So, apparently these three guys were sent to take out Shithead and possibly Dr. Douche Dick. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Shithead Jackson happens to be a close personal friend of mine. Uh, it seemed like from the review we did of Shithead Jackson that you actually completely hated him and thought he was- Well, you know, people change. Oh, so he like changed his pants and there was less shit? <laughs> um, no, he, he changed his pants and I saw him in the process and now I quite like him. Oh, I see. I see how it is. He, his, his big old shit was hanging out <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's a big piece of shit. And you're like, well, that's not exactly how it happened, but whatever. Okay. Well, here they are. Uh, man, these are hard to stand up. They don't. I was hoping they'd hit right here so I didn't have to stick them all the way back there. But, according to Solid Snake, these guys are called Three Asshole Migos. Or, as we could have called them for short, Triple A. Not to be confused with Triple H. Or also Triple A that would help you with if your car broke down. They might help you. Maybe. If they're in the mood. But they're called Triple A. There's only two A's, the Asshole Amigos, but the Triple A's because there's Asshole, Asshole, and Asshole. That's a lot of Asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they're led by this guy right here. His name is Ray Tamponero Jr. And he comes with a chainsaw. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that fierce gaze. Anybody would just drop it pass out, run away, whatever, if they saw that staring back at him. And, and then we have uh, the second in command, who is the Blue Bastard. Ah. Comes with a ladder. It's included also. Like you might... The accessories are included again. Yes. yes. It's actually, it's like not just in a mirage, it's actually in there. And they don't take it away when you buy it. <laughs> And I think he might be related to Owen Hart in some way. Because of the whole blue blazer. And he's like the blue bastard. No. Oh. And this guy, he's the Rusty Sanchez. And he comes with a rusty gate. And I'm not sure where he does that, but we'll see when we open him up. It's also included. <laughs> See, if that note wasn't there, I'd be like, what is this? Is this included, or...? Are you going to show them the picture on the back of the whole series? Oh, yeah. It has all three of them on there. They come in the same series. Is that him? Yes. There's the number three. That's probably, like, the... Th is that the stands for the three amigos? What's the nine for? Is there, like, nine of somebody? Well, they each have three, um, nipples. So there's nine nipples. Oh. That's why there's a nine. Extreme! Is that extreme? And they're all. <laughs> what? Figurines articulates. Huh. <laughs> I wonder what that little black dot on his boob is. Wait, 
Hold up there. There, she's got Um, that's his third nipple. Oh. Well, his other nipples aren't black. Well, I didn't say they were all the same. Maybe that's his rusty nipple. Maybe that's his rusty Sanchez nipple. Okay. Let's open these guys up. Alrighty. They're all opened up and ready to hunt down Dr. Douche Dick and Shithead Jackson. So who do we go over first? Huh? I don't know. Okay. Let's go over the Rusty Sanchez. <coughs> As you can see, the Rusty Sanchez signature is he took this metal barrier from a wrestling event and smashed it over his own head apparently. And it's all rusty. Because he's had it on there for quite a long time and he's probably got some kind of tetanus thing going on. Maybe that's why his face is bleeding. Maybe. <laughs> but the Rusty Chan says is a very difficult person to deal with because you run up to him and try to punch him in the face and he's just like wah, 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 wah. And somehow that injures you, I guess. I don't know. Oh, so he's an expert in fencing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, like we noticed that these guys have the same skin condition, same disease that Dr. Douche Dick has, where like there's like his extra folded up skin growth around the wrist area. They all have it. I don't know. Maybe they all caught it from each other from fighting. I don't know. Shit had never got it, though. He, he's lucky, I guess. Well, he keeps his arms wrapped so that they can't give it to him. Oh, yeah. You have to probably... make wrist-to-wrist -wrist contact. Oh. Well, that's good. That's a dangerous disease. <laughs> it's a WTD. No. <laughs> a wrist-transmitted <t> <laughs> disease. <laughs> But if you look closely, you can see that the rust has actually started rusting on the metal parts of his mask, too. I mean, you wrestle this guy, fight with him, you're probably going to get a tetanus disease or something. Well, however that works. Well, you, you might have to get a tetanus shot and they're very unpleasant. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, now we got... This the guy. blue bastard. Yes. We don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yes, but apparently <laughs> this helps him defeat his opponents. For some kind of defensive maneuver. Using two pieces of a ladder. Maybe he spins around, I don't know. Or... Well, he was going to use the ladder <laughs> in other ways, but then when he came out of the package, it just kind of fell apart, so he had to wing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. If you look at this hole in his butt... There's actually skin. You can see his skin in there. Well, what did you think would be in his butt? I don't know. Poop? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's also got rust. Or not rust, but like metal parts on his mask. But no rust on him, apparently. So that's good for him. His ladders don't look very rusty either, so... He probably don't get too close to his buddy, the Rusty Sanchez. Now, if you look on his face, he looks very, very alert and excited. Or something. He's watching for people to use his strange defensive maneuver against. Yeah. He has to look very closely because it's not going to work for very many people. So he has to really look like, no, that ain't going to work on that person. They're not retarded. No, that person looks like they're... I really hope he finds someone because I want to know what the fuck it is he does. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, no, no, no. He can. He's able to walk. Oh. Ah! Oh, nope, nope. That person actually can put their clothes on. Hmm. Nope. Who, who the hell can I use my def my defense against? What are you doing, you whippersnapper? Would it be? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> No, get off of me! What What the fuck are you doing, you dumb little shit? I'm defeating you! I, I, that doesn't even hurt, it just kind of tickles. You are in the most pain of your life! <laughs> Sorry, Ray Tickle. Woohoo! 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 tickles! Woohoo! 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 Wooho
that will haunt these lands forever. <laughs> And now you have stared into my eyes and realize how serious this is. I'll just waddle back into my perspective. <laughs> well, lastly, we have Ray Tampanero Jr. And you can see he's quite bloody, especially in the crotchal area. But that just happens, I'm assuming, he uses chainsaw to cut people up and that's just happened to be where the blood splattered. I don't know. God, well, it was all over the back, too. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> how the hell to get off the back of his pants? But whatever. And, uh, you can see he has quite a... <laughs> He's got quite a nice rack. A rack? His boobies? Look at them. Well, they all got the same rack. They're magnificent. But look, I'm talking about... Look at his eyeballs. Now you know that's that guy means business when he when he <laughs> gives you a look like that. Which eye am I supposed to look at? The one that's looking in a direction. Well, they're both looking in a direction. They're just not the same direction. Well, yeah, pick one. <laughs> but you can see he comes with this chainsaw because all all of the Tampanero family have a chainsaw. Because they're all covered in blood at all times. And it might just be, a, some people say it's just a cover. They say, hey, they have a chainsaw, that's why they're covered in blood. But I don't know if that's really why they're covered in blood. There might be a different reason. Now there's an alternate version of this figure for extreme situations. And this is when he gets really, really pissed off. This is what he calls heavy flow mode whoa <laughs> and you can see there's he must have really went on a rampage or something and just, I mean he's covered in blood so he went somewhere yeah. I'm not sure what was on a rampage yeah. <laughs> it just seems like it really seems to be concentrating on his crotch again I mean, he just must just be the angle that he holds this chainsaw it just splatters up on his crotch and then and I don't know like bounces off his crotch and Splatters up along into his face. I don't know what the hell happens here. Heavy flow Ray Tampanero is not as common, but still, it's cool that they make this version just in case you want that to happen. But most people don't want it to happen. It's just not a good thing. It's very unpleasant. Yeah, and he gets in, he's in a very bad mood those times. But here's the regular version, this regular old Ray Tampanero. He's usually not in a very good mood either. No. <laughs> he only wrestles like once a month anyway. So. <laughs> so Shithead Jackson and Dr. Douche Dick better watch out because they got three ninja wrestlers. Ninja wrestlers. <laughs> yes, ninja wrestlers after them. And they all got crazy looking eyeballs. <laughs> Yeah. It was that amazing. That that's what it was. 
I, I suggest going to your local Dollar Tree and... You should buy like six of each of them. Yeah, that, that's what you should do. I kind of don't like this Ray Tampanero guy because... I'm kind of, I kind of like how the same color, color scheme... Well, yours is, um, your blood's concentrated around your face, at least, and not your nether regions. Oh, that's true. So it's like I, I'm bleeding from the mouth, not not other areas. Okay, uh, well, I'm okay with these guys then. Yep, go, go to a Dollar Tree, buy them, do whatever, whatever you gotta do with these ninjas. But, whoa. What the fuck? Why did you make me do that? I'm just very, I'm sorry, I'm clumsy. I'm stomping too much. I'm just... <sighs> Jeez. Probably the most uncomfortable video I've ever been involved in. Uh, sorry, Laura, I gotta go. Bye. Well, um, this is Laura Croft, and thank you for watching our video. Uh, uh, you should, like, sub subscribe in it. Is that how he says it? Subscribe in it or something? And, um... Well, that's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or oh, you could subscribe, Nate. Oh.